The cosmos is filled with wonders. Some are visible to the naked eye like the swirling clouds of a distant nebula. Others require powerful tools to unravel their secrets. In the realm of engineering, computational fluid dynamics or CFD is one such tool. It allows us to peer into the heart of complex machines and understand the invisible dance of fluids. Rotating machinery, the workhorses of countless industries, rely on the precise interaction of fluids and rotating components. Think of the mighty turbines that generate electricity, the compressors that power our refrigerators, or the pumps that circulate lifeblood through industrial processes. Designing these machines requires a deep understanding of fluid behavior. This is where CFD comes in. CFD simulations provide a virtual window into the intricate flow patterns within rotating machines. They allow engineers to visualize pressure distributions, velocity fields, and turbulence levels with remarkable detail. By understanding these fluid dynamics, engineers can optimize designs for efficiency, performance, and reliability. CFD is not just a design tool, it is a powerful analytical tool as well. It allows engineers to diagnose problems, troubleshoot performance issues, and test design modifications without the need for expensive and time-consuming physical prototypes. In a world demanding ever-increasing efficiency and performance, CFD has become an indispensable tool for the modern engineer. Rotating machines are everywhere. They are the unsung heroes of our daily lives, quietly performing their tasks with precision and efficiency. Look around and you'll find them humming in the background of our modern lives. From the moment we wake up to the time we go to bed, these machines are at work, making our lives easier and more comfortable. They power our homes, drive our industries, and even propel us through the air. Without them, modern civilization as we know it would come to a standstill. Understanding the different types of rotating machines is essential for appreciating the power and versatility of computational fluid dynamics, or CFD. CFD allows engineers to simulate and analyze the behavior of fluids within these machines, leading to better designs and more efficient operations. At the heart of many rotating machines lies a rotor, a rotating assembly designed to move fluids or extract energy from them. The rotor's design is crucial, as it directly impacts the machine's performance and efficiency. This rotor can take many forms, each optimized for a specific application. Some rotors are designed for high-speed operations, while others are built for heavy-duty tasks. The diversity in rotor design reflects the wide range of applications for rotating machines. Let's explore a few examples to better understand their roles and importance. Pumps are the workhorses of fluid transport, moving liquids from one point to another. They are essential in various industries, including water treatment, oil and gas, and chemical processing. They come in all shapes and sizes, from the small pumps that circulate coolant in our cars, to the massive pumps used in hydroelectric power plants. Each pump is designed to handle specific types of fluids and operating conditions. Fans are another ubiquitous type of rotating machine designed to move air or gases. They play a critical role in ventilation, cooling, and air circulation in various settings. Think of the cooling fans in our computers, or the massive ventilation fans used in tunnels and mines. These fans ensure that air flows smoothly, preventing overheating and maintaining safe environments. Compressors, as their name suggests, are designed to increase the pressure of gases. They are vital in many applications, from powering pneumatic tools to enabling refrigeration cycles. They are essential components in a wide range of applications, from refrigeration and air conditioning to industrial processes and gas turbines. Without compressors, many modern conveniences would be impossible. Turbines, on the other hand, extract energy from flowing fluids, converting it into mechanical work. This conversion process is fundamental to power generation and propulsion systems. Gas turbines power aircraft and generate electricity, while wind turbines harness the kinetic energy of the wind. These machines are at the forefront of renewable energy technologies, helping to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. These are just a few examples of the diverse world of rotating machines. Each type has its unique characteristics and applications, showcasing the ingenuity and innovation in engineering. Each type presents unique challenges for CFD simulations, requiring specialized techniques and modeling approaches. Engineers must consider factors such as fluid dynamics, material properties, and operating conditions to create accurate models. Yet the underlying principles of fluid dynamics remain constant, guiding our understanding of these complex machines. By mastering these principles, engineers can continue to push the boundaries of what rotating machines can achieve, driving progress and innovation in countless fields. 
Within the realm of rotating machinery, we encounter a fascinating and intricate world of engineering marvels. Turbo machinery stands out as a particularly important and complex category, playing a crucial role in various industrial applications. These machines are characterized by the transfer of energy between a rotating component and a fluid, a process that is fundamental to their operation. To better understand the intricacies of turbo machinery, we can classify them based on the direction of fluid flow relative to the axis of rotation, which helps in identifying their specific applications and design considerations. Axial flow machines, as their name suggests, are characterized by fluid flow that is primarily parallel to the axis of rotation. This design allows for efficient energy transfer in a streamlined manner. Imagine the blades of a helicopter rotor slicing through the air, creating lift by redirecting the airflow. This is a prime example of axial flow in action, where the fluid, in this case air, moves parallel to the axis of the rotor. Axial flow compressors and turbines, found in jet engines and power plants, operate on similar principles. They use carefully designed blades to accelerate or decelerate the fluid, thereby either imparting or extracting energy. This makes them essential components in high-performance applications. Centrifugal or radial flow machines, in contrast, are characterized by fluid flow that is primarily perpendicular to the axis of rotation. This fundamental difference in flow direction leads to distinct operational characteristics and applications. Think of a merry-go-round with children moving outward from the center as it spins. This outward movement is analogous to the fluid flow in centrifugal machines. Centrifugal pumps and compressors utilize this principle, using a rotating impeller to impart energy to the fluid and direct it radially outward. This design is particularly effective for applications requiring high flow rates and pressures. Mixed flow machines, as the name implies, combine elements of both axial and radial flow. This hybrid approach allows for versatile performance characteristics, making them suitable for a wide range of applications. The fluid enters the machine axially then changes direction as it interacts with the rotating blades, exiting the machine with a combination of axial and radial velocity components. This complex flow pattern requires careful design and analysis to optimize performance. This type of flow is often found in diagonal fans and some types of hydraulic turbines, where the combination of axial and radial flow provides the necessary performance characteristics for the application. Understanding the flow characteristics of each type of turbo machinery is crucial for selecting the appropriate modeling approach in computational fluid dynamics CFD. Accurate modeling ensures optimal design and performance. Axial flow machines, with their relatively simpler flow patterns, can often be modeled using simpler approaches. This makes them easier to analyze and optimize, especially in applications where streamlined flow is essential. While centrifugal and mixed flow machines with their more complex flow patterns often require more sophisticated modeling techniques. These advanced methods help capture the intricate interactions within the fluid, ensuring accurate predictions of performance and efficiency. Engineers use these sophisticated CFD simulations to analyze and refine the design of turbo machinery components, ensuring they meet the demanding requirements of modern applications. From power generation to aerospace, the principles of axial, centrifugal, and mixed flow turbo machinery are applied in a wide range of industries, highlighting their versatility and importance in modern engineering. As technology advances, so too does the field of turbo machinery, with innovative designs and new technologies continually pushing the boundaries of what these machines can achieve. The future of turbo machinery promises even greater efficiency, performance, and sustainability, driven by the ongoing collaboration and ingenuity of engineers around the world. In the world of CFD, choosing the right frame of reference is like selecting the right lens for a camera. Just as a photographer must choose the appropriate lens to capture the perfect shot, engineers must select the correct frame of reference to accurately simulate and analyze fluid dynamics. It determines what you see and how clearly you see it. The clarity and accuracy of the simulation results hinge on this crucial decision, impacting the overall understanding of the fluid flow behavior. For rotating machinery, the choice of frame of reference is particularly critical, as it dictates how the rotation of the machine is accounted for in the simulation. This decision can significantly influence the accuracy of the results and the insights gained from the analysis. The simplest approach is to use a single frame of reference, typically a stationary frame that encompasses the entire computational domain. 
This method is straightforward and often sufficient for many engineering applications. Imagine observing a spinning top from a fixed point in space. Your perspective remains unchanged, providing a clear and consistent view of the top's motion. The top is rotating but your viewpoint remains stationary. This analogy helps illustrate how a stationary frame of reference can simplify the analysis of rotating systems. In a single frame of reference CFD simulation, the rotating components of the machine are modeled as if they were stationary, and the fluid flow is calculated relative to this stationary frame. This approach simplifies the computational process and can be effective for certain scenarios. This approach works well for cases where the rotational speed of the machine is relatively low and the flow patterns are not significantly affected by the rotation. The simplicity of this method makes it a popular choice for many engineers. For example, a ceiling fan operating at low speed might be adequately modeled using a single frame of reference. The airflow patterns are relatively simple and the rotational effects are minimal. However, as the rotational speed increases or the flow becomes more complex, the limitations of a single frame of reference become apparent. The simplifications made in this approach may no longer be valid, leading to inaccuracies in the simulation results. Imagine trying to analyze the airflow around a helicopter rotor blade using only a stationary frame of reference. The high rotational speeds and complex flow patterns would pose significant challenges making it difficult to capture the true behavior of the fluid dynamics. The complex, three-dimensional flow patterns induced by the rotating blade would be difficult to capture accurately. The stationary frame of reference may not provide the necessary detail and precision required for such intricate simulations. This is where multiple frames of reference come into play, offering a more sophisticated and accurate way to model the complex flow physics of rotating machinery. By using multiple frames, engineers can better account for the rotational effects and achieve more precise simulation results, leading to deeper insights and improved designs.